So in Helldivers 2, when it comes to doing missions, stratagems are going to be your best friend. And what we're going to do in this video is go through the absolute best stratagems you can take into missions. And these are either going to be ones that I've used from having them unlocked myself, some of the weapons and stuff that other people have dropped that I've been able to use, or from seeing them being used in gameplay as well. And starting off under the Patriotic Admin Center, we have the Anti-Material Rifle. This is really, really good to use, especially when it comes to light and medium armored targets. Then next on the list, we have the Expendable Anti-Tank. This is fantastic against the bots. The only problem that it comes with is that it's discarded after every use. And you can see that there was a bile spewer being shown there. It's really good against those as well. And then in a recent update, there was a buff to the flamethrower. So that has become a lot more viable now. It's really, really good to use against the bugs. Then you have the auto cannon. You'll see these walkers and the bile spewers. It's really, really good to use against those. And then I think it's probably the people's favorite is the railgun. Obviously, I've not been able to unlock it yet because I'm not level 20. But from what I have seen, it seems to be probably the best out of this list as long as you have it unlocked. Then when it comes to the orbital cannons, I wouldn't really recommend any of these besides the orbital rail cannon strike. Because you'll see that it fires its round at the largest target in the close proximity to the beacon. It does it all automatically, is really powerful, so that's why I recommend that one. I mean, Orbital Gatling Barrage is okay, but that's only if you're a very, very early level and you're playing on low difficulties. And then when it comes to the hangar, there are a few here. So if you are running missions and trying to do all of the little side objectives, and like, for an example, the bug nests and things like that, then the Eagle Airstrike is really, really good, especially when it comes to the bug nests because it actually closes them up. So you can just literally chuck an airstrike down. It closes up all of the like spawning things for the bugs. You can just get it done within seconds. And the next up, this is incredibly powerful, even though you don't need to be too high of a level for it, the Eagle Cluster Bomb. I've been using this one a lot lately and I've had so much fun with it. And as you can see in the little footage clip they show you, yeah, it's really, really powerful. And then I think this is an absolute no-brainer, but the Eagle 500 kg bomb, this is really good for taking out light and medium nests and things like that. And you'll see that it like one taps a bio titan. So uh, yeah, incredible to use the Eagle 500 k bomb, but obviously you do need to be level 15 to unlock it. Then when it comes to the bridge stuff, personally, I, I wouldn't really use any of this stuff. I, I don't think any of it's actually that good. I mean, you could use the orbital precision strike. It's unlocked at a low level and stuff. But I just don't think it's anywhere near as powerful as other things you can get in the game. And then the engineering bay, I highly recommend for the lower level players that you unlock the grenade launcher. It's really good, especially against the walkers when you're fighting the bots. And then we have one of my personal favorites, the guard dog rover. However, you do need to be really, really careful with this because you can see it's firing a constant laser and that laser will do a lot of damage to anyone on your team, including yourself. So while you do have to be quite careful with it, it is really powerful. Powerful was going to take out groups of bugs on its own and it's going to save you a lot of hassle. And then one that I've not been able to use myself, but I've seen a lot of players using, and that is the shield generator pack. So I would definitely chuck this into your loadout if you are level 20 or above. The arc thrower is another good one, but I've not really seen many players using this. I've, I've seen a couple here and there. It's more that shield generator pack, the guard dog rover, and then the other ones that we've previously mentioned in this video as well. And when it comes to the robotics workshop, I do quite like the machine gun sentry. It's not that great. But when you have a bunch of bugs or bots coming towards you, or maybe when you're defending for the extraction, realistically, any of these sentries are quite good. I've seen a lot of people using the uh, mortar sentry. And then there is one thing that uh, you do have to be level 25 to unlock, but I've seen it, and that is the XO45 Patriot exosuit. So when you are the right level, you've got enough requisition in order to save yourself wasting some. Those are, in, at least in my opinion, the best stratagems you can unlock in Helldivers 2. And what we're going to do is leave that video there. Let me know your thoughts and stuff about the stratagems in the comments. I will see you guys on the next one. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope it helped you out. Thank you for watching.